With more and more people getting vaccinated, families are beginning to ask, when is it safe to visit grandparents? Can family gatherings resume indoors? CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. They all know. Emotional moments for the Arrhenia family. Ten-year-old Xavier has only seen his grandparents through a door for nearly a year. I just miss them being, being by them and being able to be less than six feet away from them. His mom's now vaccinated and grandparents will get there soon too. But yet, there will be no reunion anytime soon. How safe really is that for for them, right? Xavier goes to school three days a week. I'm at work. Her caution is backed by science. With millions fully vaccinated, maskless indoor close quarter gatherings are still not advised, even if the whole guest list is vaccinated. You can still potentially get and give COVID to each other. Um, and then you could spread it to other family members, other loved ones. Um, and again, it could be a mild or you know moderate case for you. Um, and some people will still end up with that severe case. Dr. Michael Green of Northwell Go Health Urgent Care says until enough people are vaccinated and community spread plummets, it's important to still play it safe. Highly ventilated areas are the best thing and still socially distancing. Because COVID is so new and can spread by asymptomatic carriers, experts don't know if those inoculated can transmit it. So family celebrations like this one Happy birthday. in a garage for 88 year old Robert Stearns with his personal cake and hand warmers are not going away just yet. In terms of any Anything more intimate and closer, no, I'm not ready. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Francine Slade got her shots, and yet. I haven't seen my friends in over a year. I want to be cautious and still wear a mask until this is dying out. I think even with the shots, we're going to be careful. So when will we be able to ditch the masks, close the windows, and celebrate life again in person? I love you. I love you very much, you know? We, we let the CDC will decide when the nation has reached herd immunity. Somewhere between 70 and 90 percent of the population will need to be vaccinated. In Syosset, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. And another reason to caution is still so important at this time. The more a virus spreads, the more likely it is to mutate, and the vaccine may not be protective against all new strains.